you will give me the information I want or you will be sorry. Go ahead. Do what you want. There's nothing you can do that can hurt me. I've been married. Twice. Whoosh. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Monkey and Crow Show, the Klaus Restoration Channel, Crafts and Do It All Other Stuff Channel. You know what we're going to be talking about today? Enlighten me. I would like to know what we're going to be talking about today. I need to be so enlightened by it. Frankly, I don't give... Close the camera on. I just love what's been going on today. I just can't wait to find out about it. I am so interested. Man, we're talking about another table saw today, but this one is small. I remember talking about a table saw yesterday. I hope I didn't do a video on it already. <laughs> Boy, is my face red. It's my face red right now. It's not about a table saw. It's about repairing a nail gun. <laughs> repairing a broke nail gun that won't fire. And remember, you do this at your own risk. If you fix this thing the way you see in the video and you blow your hand off, it's your own problem. It's your own problem, bitch. You follow the advice of this, do it at your own discretion. Do it at your own risk. And if something happens to you, too damn bad, baby. Too damn bad. I told you to be careful. You don't have to follow the video, but it works. Blow your hand off. Man, if you're going to do repair on a nail gun, that thing runs on 120, 120 PSI, right? Man, don't lay it on your lap. You blow your dick off, man, you'll be screwed for life. Or uh, I change that. You'll be unscrewed for life. You'll never be screwing again. Who in the hell going to put a damn nail gun in their lap? You gotta be stupid. There's a lot of stupid people in the world. Lots and lots and lots of them. But the people that watch this show are the smart ones. Only a smart person would watch this show. I'm talking true intelligence out there, people. If you don't watch this show, mm -mm, dumb as a rock. But if you watch this show, you're a damn genius, people. Damn genius. You got a goddamn IQ of 165. You're, you're goddamn gifted. Man, you right. You watching this show, man, you are gifted. Man, you got some brains in your head. Your head's so swelled up, you have to get a second head to fill it all up. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh, something bad happening. Would you shut the fuck up? My eyes, my eyes itching. Wait a minute, I'll be right back. Go scratch that bastard's eye. All right, I'm back. You all right? Yep. Interrupting the show like that. Should punch him in the eye. Should scratch it. Yeah, this table saw small. You could actually get them smaller than this one. Son of a bitch. What is it with that table saw? <laughs> Who's that table saw at the beginning of this this show? Because it's stuck in my head. Jeez. Yeah, uh, but Yeah, fix that uh, glue gun now. It's a nail gun. What a glue gun. you will fix your nail gun up. Get using it. Build some shit with it. Get off your damn sorry ass and work. Man, you'll be a happy person. Man, this nail gun got used to death. Resurrected. Used to death again. <laughs> fixed up two or three times. And then the damn thing broke again. Now it's fixed for life. Blow the whole top off the damn thing that still works. So you got to be careful when you do that. If you lose the top on yours, there's a damn thing made out of plastic. Lose the top on yours, watch it. Is that air going to shoot out the top like a whale in the ocean? But you better stand back, baby. Watch where you're aiming that thing. Don't aim it towards your face. Because that air will knock your eyebrows off. Won't kill you. Nothing. Knock your eyebrows off. Shut up over there, camera lady. You want me to fly over there and stick a corn cob up your nose? I'll do it when I'm good and ready. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, that's a... I almost said table saw now. That is a good nail gun fix. But remember, like the monkey said, do it at your own risk. Man, you do some of that other stuff. Get yourself all stuffed up and things. We don't want to hear about it. We don't want no nasty letters. We don't want none of that shit. 
So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and relax. Let the monkey take us home, baby. Take us home. He's got a joke to tell. And he's gonna tell it good. All right, here we go. Here's the joke of the day, people. The joke of the day. I got this one from the comic uh, department. From the joke department. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Why did the crow go into the cornfield? Why did the crow go into the cornfield? Because it was corn-tastic. <laughs> Woo, man, that's a good one. corn ta What is that, critics? I'm going to come over there in a minute. And I'm going to lay me a brick over here. Brick department. Give me a brick. Man, you keep your mouth shut. That was the best joke I've heard in my life. Any joke about a crow is a good joke. Unless you're bad-mouthing a crow. But if you ain't bad-mouthing, man, that joke, it just sent me. Makes me want to eat corn. Sure does. So, goodbye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the Comedy Central here. Hope you enjoyed the crow and the monkey. And... I'll see you later and next time. And don't shut off the damn camera, that monkey coming back. Okay, monkey, let's go. Okay, I got the batteries running out of the camera. I gotta hurry up and get this thing. Goodbye, people. Hope you enjoyed the show. Enjoy it. Watch it. Good stuff. Blah, 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 and all that. Good. Bye. See you later. Goodbye. First, I will state the precautions, and you should not do this if you think that you cannot do this properly, or you shouldn't do this if you have any doubts. I'm not responsible for injury or harm in any way whatsoever. If you follow this video, I'm just showing you something that I did and it works. This is a coal nailer. A coal nailer shoots coil nails that go in here, different sizes. Coil nails are easy in but hard to get out. They're mostly made to put together pallets and things like that that you can frame with them but you're not going to get a really long screw in this though they uh but you're in this but some of these come taller some come shorter this one is from south korea a jet supposed to be the best tool that south korea has to offer i beg to differ I've had nothing but trouble with this nail gun ever since I've had it. And if this is the best that South Korea has to offer, they should keep it because it is a worthless piece of junk. Jet tools are only as good as people claim they are. People that never put them through their pace or let them just sit and hardly touch them. But when you use them the way I use them and put them through their paces, I have found out they are nowhere near as good as they claim they are. There is no company defect going to be so bad in a nail gun. There's no company defect that is going to be so bad in a nail gun that the seals are constantly deteriorating at a rapid pace. The hammer is getting stuck. Other things. What are the other things? Use your imagination. I'm going to tell you what happened to this nail gun. It was firing fine. Nothing was wrong with it. Then all of a sudden, air comes out everywhere. A, a seal goes out. Where's the air coming out? It come out here. Air's coming out. So I replaced the seal. It pretty much disintegrated it. I replaced the seal. It worked fine again. Then it gets to where another seal breaks. But this seal was very hard to find. In fact, I have never found it. I had to make my own seal. After I put my own seal in there, it works fine again for a little while. Then one day I go to fire it. And this cap, black cap on the top that is missing... There's a seal in here that you will see when I take it apart. The seal had deteriorated and I did not know it. So when I fired it, there was nothing to stop that pressure from just being forced through the top instead of around that seal and then out. So it blew that black top, the directional that you turn 
So say you're firing this way, you could turn the air to go that way. Or if you're firing, or if you're over here and you're firing and the air is coming this way, you could turn it and it'll go out that way so it won't hit you in the face or the body. But because the seal had deteriorated and I did not know it, it blew the top off into about six different pieces. So now it has no top. So what does this mean? This tool is a great tool, just has a couple of seal problems. No, it does not. Because when this seal had broken and deteriorated, the pressure in the gun forced all of that debris down in to the gun. And there's a hammer in here. And the hammer goes up and down when you fire the gun. It's right in here. The hammer will go down, but it would not retract and go back up. So I got the air out of the hose. You never push that hammer up when there's high pressure on the gun. Never. I got the air out of the hose, pushed it back up, fired it. It worked, but it did not go back up. So I had to do it again. I had to get the air out of the hose, push it back up, fire it again, get the air out of the hose, push it back up, fire it again. So hand me that, that uh, screwdriver over there. I used this punch that I made from a screwdriver. I would stick it in here, push it back up, close this, put air back in the hose, fire. It would get stuck then I would do that over and over. So I was thinking, something's wrong and I've got to find it out. So never take this apart, this bottom part. Never remove this. There's a lot going on here. Nothing in here is the problem. The problem is in here. So you take out these four screws here on the top, break them loose. Break these screws loose. Sometimes these tools will have thread lock on them for some reason. But you take these screws out and these are very easy air compression tools are very easy to work on because there's not that much inside of them that's going on. So take these out. Remove this metal piece. <laughs> then do the other side the exact same way. And I'll say it once again, if you're in the market for a coil nailer or any tool, do not buy a jet tool. And if you have one, and you're in the comment section and you're saying, I've had my jet tool for ever. It's the best there is. Or maybe. It's not the kind I get. I get the ones that are no good. I get the ones that break down and malfunction. One problem right after another, right after another, right after another, right after another. On a nail gun that's barely three years old. But you have to replace the seals in them, that's normal. It's not normal for that many seals to malfunction in that short amount of time. How many seals will? Two, three already. So once the last one is out, remove this, lift the top off. What's part of the seal broke? You take the top off, remove this seal here, this gasket. Right here. That's not a seal, sir. That's a casket. It's a damn seal. This here had to be removed. And actually, if you can see it, I missed a part. The part of that seal is still down in there. I missed that when I cleaned it. You didn't clean it good. Yeah, it looks like I didn't clean it good. I forgot this whole corner right here. It's hard to get. It's down in there though.
pieces of that seal. It's good this is here because I fixed it earlier. You can see pieces of the seal down in there. Okay, once that's out and it's all cleaned up, another piece. All of the debris and everything that went down in here, it's another piece, affected that hammer. Everything affected that hammer. This here, this orange part, that's what, that was the seal, the first seal that got replaced. That one yeah. There was another seal that got replaced also that is actually under here. This seal here also, this black one. This is the one I had to make myself because you cannot find it. Seal number three that affected the hammer. It's in here covering these holes and then there's a nipple thing that sticks up about this high. The nipple thing that sticks up about this high and sticks up through here like this, like my finger sticks up through here. Then when you put it down in here, this spring helps push on everything in here, seals that up, and then you've got that. So when the air, the purpose of that seal is so this air won't shoot, that's coming from the gun when you pull the trigger, it won't allow the air to just violently rush out through there and tear the plastic top off of here. And that's what happened. So, you say, well, you don't have that seal in there. No, I don't. Because this is a directional seal. You don't need it. I don't have a top on here. If you have a top on here, you need it. But I don't have a top because mine got destroyed already. So all that means is the air is going to come out here even more because these holes are totally exposed and they're big. Nothing is going to happen to the gun when you pull the trigger, nothing bad, because it is not restricting airflow, it is creating more airflow. So all that seal did was make it so all of that air won't come rushing out through here all at once with a lot of pressure. And when that seal failed and crumbled apart in a million pieces, like these, laying here, So when that seal failed and crumbled up into a million pieces, that air was no longer controlled. The air pressure was no longer controlled and it busted that black directional top. So removing all of that debris and, all, and cleaning all that out of there was all it took to get this working again. And no, you don't need it. You do not need, this is a seal that you do not need unless you have, still have that plastic top or whether you want to put another plastic top on. And you can put it on, here's the Allen wrench. You can screw this, this out. You see some of the black top is still there. If you don't want to put a black top back on, don't buy one because it's gonna be hard to find probably. But if you leave it like I'm leaving mine, you don't need it. I just said, I can't show the seal, I threw it away earlier, but it's a, just a round seal with a nipple sticking up on it like this, except it's plastic. The nipple part, is pla this part is almost the same size as the seal that sticks up, but it's made out of white plastic, and then the seal is uh, attached to the bottom of it. It's all one piece. So you push your parts back down in here. Back down in here with them. So you push this back down into where it belongs, make sure it springs. You get your gasket. Make sure that your gasket is clean. If you got, see like that, if you got something stuck on, on your gasket, it's not gonna seal. Go around it and make sure that it's clean and do it more than once, because you're gonna miss some stuff. I mean, touching everything, and I got oily hands and wanna have things stick to me. And once you put it back on, it don't matter if you put it this way or this way. It's the exact same on both sides. So this is a foolproof seal. You put your seal back on.
line it up with the four holes, these right here. Still some broken seal right there. And then when you put this a foolproof system, so put your seal back on here, put the top back on here, put your screw in here, get your Allen wrench. Now you don't want to put this, whoops, see there? Got a camera in front of you to forget stuff. What did I forget? Does anybody know? Can anybody tell me what I forgot? You can't. This here. It doesn't matter which side they go on. Put it on. Down in there. Put your screw in. And twist it down. Make sure it's catching. You'll know here in a minute if it's catching. Then don't put it all the way in. Because he can pull. If you put it all the way in and lock it down, it can pull this over and your screws on the other side won't go in. Put it about like that. That's good enough. Put your other one on this side. And remember, that missing, that missing seal will not cause an air leak because that's not its purpose. Blocking air is not its purpose. Its purpose is letting air out more nicely, more easy, so you won't blow your top. But trust me, if you buy one of these nail guns, you're going to be blowing your top. and using a lot of adult language. Then once you get it on, snug it up, but don't tighten it. Snug it up, but don't tighten it. Snug it up, but what? Don't tighten it. Snug it up, but don't tighten it. And once they're all snugged up, then you can tighten it. So when you tighten it, you don't have to put the mojo on it until this Allen wrench bends or breaks. You just tighten it up. If you're a woman, you may need help. It'll still be loose after you tighten it. Tighten it till it kind of gives you a little bit of a little bit of flex in your Allen wrench. And then do opposite sides. And then tighten this opposite side up. If I can get the Allen wrench in there. Tighten the opposite side up. That's what you want to do. You don't want to do both sides at once. Shift them around. These nail guns run on 120 to 125 PSI. You don't want to, if you go any lower than that, you're not going to have a problem except your nail won't go in your wood all the way. If you put any higher than that, you're going to destroy the nail gun. This one runs on 125 PSI, I read the instruction manual. And my pressure tank over there only goes up to 120, 25 PSI. So I couldn't endanger this tool if I tried. Because my pressure tank does not go up that high. Even though it is a big one. And once it is back together, you put oil back in here before you fire it, which I'm not going to do because I had oil in it just a few minutes ago before I started working on it. And I worked on it earlier today. Then, I'm going to release my air. And I also have this on here, so if I turn the air off, I can bleed the hose. Like See, like that. Now, the air is still in here, but I bleed the air out of the hose. If you have a pressure tank, you should have this set up, so you can bleed all of the air out of the hose. So, bleed the air out of your hose without it affecting this. So, if the air is on, you turn this come out. But the air is off, you can bleed the hose and it stops. See it stops because I just bleed the hose. But if you turn this and turn this on, the air is not going out here, it's going back in the line. So to get back to what we were talking about, we change these into these. And let's bump this thing. This is a bumper holding the trigger, you can bump it. So now, so now we're at a safer location. And we're going to bump the nails into this. I don't know if these will go all the way through here or not. We will bump them in here. 
And remember, even with the shroud, some these nails are held together with the little metal pieces. They can still come out and hit you. So I always wear eye protection with any nail gun. So this is a bopper. You can pull the trigger and bop it. So we'll bop it. There's the nail. Amazing. And the hammer in the gun. There's the nail. And the hammer in the gun has retracted. Here's another one. There's another nail. And here's another nail. There's another one. And another nail. Okay, here's another one. I won't bump it this time. That nail went through. I won't bump it this time. I'll hold it down and pull the trigger. And another nail. Amazing. Where before the hammer was the hammer that goes down and hits the nail went down and stayed down. It goes down, it stays down. But now it goes down and back up. And why? Because of debris and dirt and dirtiness, which is the seal, or was the seal, the air that is coming out of these holes is the same air that always come out of these holes. The only difference is the seal slowed it down some. If you want to put another seal in here, do it. But it's a waste of time. But if you're firing the gun this way, bop, 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 don't get in front of it because you're going to get a face full of air. So, if anybody tells you that you need that seal, they're lying, inexperienced, and they're talking about something they have no business talking about whatsoever because you do not need that seal. There is no air coming out of here, nothing, because this seal is just to slow down the air and not make it that comes out the top. That's all it does is slow down the air that comes out the top so it won't come out so violently. That's what busted the top. I said that before and I'll say it again. You cannot put another top on here without that seal because that air pressure will just blow it off too and bust it up. But like I said, if you can live without this directional, air directional, and I can, I can live without it. If you can live without that air directional, you don't need that seal. And if anybody says it's dangerous to use without that seal, they're idiots. I'm going to be frank about it, and I'm not going to pull words. They're idiots. So, that is how you stop your hammer from getting stuck in your coil nailer. Yeah, you would think you take it to somebody that works on it. They'll just take all this stuff apart, maybe replace this whole piece, charge you a, a fortune. See, they, they, they don't know. A lot of people that go to those schools, they don't, they don't know anything. They just know what they're taught. An idiot teaching an idiot. The blind leading the blind. They don't know. They don't know that this seal can be completely removed. They don't know that that they don't know that fragments of that seal. They don't know that you can leave without this seal. They don't know that debris from that seal, particles from that seal, they don't know that it will affect the retraction of that hammer if it gets all down in here. Because this mechanism that's in here, when you pull that trigger, it moves, everything moves down in here. And that, those little tiny sand-like particles caused that hammer not to be able to retract when it went down. But now it's fixed. Now you can use it again. And now you know you don't need that top seal. So I hope you, and if you don't believe me, Right here is all the evidence in this board. And will not using that seal blow this thing apart in your hand? No, it's the opposite. It's releasing more air. So it's less likely to blow up in your hand. Because it's more open. The air release is more open. But this, it'll cause your pressure tank to kick on a little bit sooner because it's releasing more air. But here's the evidence. It's not going to blow up on you. You're not going to get injured with it. It's actually safer. So if anybody tells you that it can't be done, 
tell them, did you ever do it? And if they said no, then why would you even listen to a person like that? See, there's too many know-it-alls in the world that don't know nothing. So if I get any of those in the comment section, you're just going to be blocked. You're wasting your time. So, I hope I've educated you on how to repair your coiler and how particles from an old busted up seal can cause a hammer to not retract. If you learned anything from this video, which I hope you did, maybe you got one of these or one similar to it, and now you know how to repair it. You know what to look for. You know you don't need that seal. So if you like the video, share it. Give me a thumbs up so YouTube will know I'm doing a good job and people like my video. Comment in the comment section, but be nice and civilized about it. Smart asses will be deleted and blocked both. Be nice in the comment section. If you got problems, deal with it some way else. Don't deal with it in the comment section. My name calling and back sassing. So I'm going to go and don't forget to subscribe to the Klaus Reviews Crafts and Restoration channel. I had to look at my wife. I always forget that title. And be sure to catch the monkey and the crow at the beginning of the video. And don't only watch them. Watch the rest of the name video. And I'm going to go now and get in the house, wash my hands, and get ready to relax a little bit. And then go play with my daughter. We're going to play Smurfs tonight. That's going to be fun. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye.